Zahir al-Umar al-Zaydani was the autonomous Arab ruler of northern Palestine in the mid-18th century, while the area was nominally part of the Ottoman Empire. For much of his reign, starting in the 1730s, his domain mainly consisted of Galilee, with successive headquarters in Tiberias, Arabah, Nazareth, Deir Hanna and finally Acre in 1746. He fortified Acre, and the city became a center of the cotton trade between Palestine and Europe. In the mid-1760s, he re-established the port town of Haifa nearby. Zahir successfully withstood assaults and sieges by the Ottoman governors of the Sidon and Damascus provinces, who attempted to limit or eliminate his influence. He was often supported in these confrontations by the rural Shia Muslim clans of Jabal Amil. In 1771, in alliance with Ali Bey al-Kabir of Egypt Ayelet and with backing from the Russian Empire, Zahir captured Sidon, while Ali Bey's forces conquered Damascus, both acts in open defiance of the Ottoman Sultan. At the peak of his power in 1774, Zahir's autonomous sheikhdom extended from Beirut to Gaza and included the Jabal Amil and Ajlan regions. By then, Ali Bey had been killed, the Ottomans had entered into a truce with the Russians, and the sublime port felt secure enough to check Zahir's power. The Ottoman navy attacked his Acre stronghold in the summer of 1775 and he was killed outside of its walls shortly after. The wealth Zahir accumulated through monopolizing Palestine's cotton and olive oil trade with Europe and setting his own prices to import as financed his sheikhdom. For much of his rule, he oversaw a relatively efficient administration and maintained domestic security. Although he faced and suppressed several rebellions by his sons, combined with the aforementioned factors, Zahir's flexible taxation policies and his battlefield reputation made him popular among the local peasantry. Zahir was notably tolerant of religious minorities, and encouraged Christian and Jewish participation in the local economy. This led to significant growth of the Christian communities in Acre and Nazareth and the Jewish community in Tiberias. He and his family also supported new construction throughout Galilee. Early life. Zahir was born in the village of Arabah in central Galilee. The date of his birth is not clear, with the dates 1686, 1689 to 90, and 1694 listed as his birth year by Zahir's contemporary biographers Volney, Mikey Sabah, and Khalil al Muradi, respectively. According to contemporary biographer Ahmed Hassan Judah, 1689 to 1690 is the most likely year of his birth because Sabah is the most reliable source for Zahir's life of the three. Zahir's family, the Zaydani clan, were Sunni Muslim notables from the Qaisi tribal confederation based in the Tiberias area who had strong connections to the Arab Bedouin tribesmen of Galilee which at the time was part of the Ottoman Empire. Zahir grew up in the village of Safaria. Zahir's father and grandfather had both served as the Multazim of Tiberias, having been appointed by the Druze emirs of the Man dynasty which governed the region from their headquarters in Mount Lebanon. In 1698, Umar Arizona Zaydani was appointed Multazim of the Safad region by Bashir Shifhabai. The Qaisi Emir who succeeded the Mans as governor of the Mount Lebanon Emirate. The Zaydani family maintained commercial trade relations extending from Galilee to Aleppo, and members of the family controlled tax farms in Galilee. Zahir's uncle Ali, for instance, held the tax farm of Al Daman. Zahir's elder brother Sad became the head of the family when the father died, but the family's tax farms were transferred to Zahir, who was still her teenager. This was done as a precautionary measure, so that in the event of a default in tax payments, the Ottoman government would not be able to hold the actual owners of the tax farms accountable. 
This gave Zahir considerable power within the Zaydani clan. In 1707, Zahir was involved in a brawl in Tiberias and ended up killing a man. As a result, S.A.D. opted to move the family to Arabah after being offered safe haven there by the Bani S.A.Q.R. tribe. It was there that Zahir gained a degree of formal education under the tutelage of a Muslim scholar named Abdal Qadir al-Hifnawai. During his youth, he also learned how to hunt and was trained in fighting. When the village of Biaina was attacked by forces dispatched by the governor of Sidon Ayalet sometime between 1713 and 1718, Zahir played an important role in defending the village and also managed to escape pursuit by the governor's troops. According to chroniclers at the time, this event along with Zahir's moderation turned Zahir into a folk hero in the region. He continued to gain the respect of the local peasantry throughout the 1720s for his martial skills, along with S.A.D. He also gained prestige among the people of Damascus with whom he continued the commercial relationships his father had previously established. The contacts he made in Damascus included the Muslim scholar Abd al Ghaffar al Shuwaki, who introduced Zahir to Sayyid Muhammad of the al Husseini family, which provided the Sharifs of Damascus at the time. Zahir married Sayyid Muhammad's daughter and moved to Nazareth because she considered Arabah too small. When Sayyid Muhammad died, Zahir inherited his fortune.